The other big story we're tracking, India today has accessed uh, the center's redacted affidavit in the Rafale deal. The BJP government has submitted the affidavit in the Supreme Court, where it has given a brief summary of the procurement procedure used uh, to buy the French fighter jets. The government of India, in the nine-page affidavit, has said the defense procurement procedure was duly followed. The affidavit claims that the joint venture between Reliance and Dassault was purely commercial, but not really clarifying how uh, Reliance came into the picture in the first place. The center, the center also claims that it had no role to play in selection of the offset partner. Instead of filing any legitimate document, they filed only few pages of the comments type sheet which is neither supported by affidavit no way no one no one can say that the document has been filed by the government of india so, so what can we say regarding this is a clarification or this a what reply or what can we say that this is not the reply reply is always be the affidavit clarification is also uh, must be supported by the affidavit this is only a few type sheet as a comments this is a comment what they filed despite the order issued by the supreme court they wanted, they are playing a fraud upon the citizen of India, upon the Supreme Court, and upon the world. Well, it's an example of, of trying to bury the truth by a thousand cuts. And uh, with the government coming out by trickling a set of details at time when the matter is already in the court and it is, it is part of the public discourse, and these are parallel conversations. On one end, the government has not answered the basic questions. How, how did HCL go away and Reliance come in? How did the deal that that got announced on Prime Minister's visit in 2015 get followed up to procedures and comes to the same conclusion in September 2016? These are matters that are discussed, but the government's edginess has, has created a re reasonable doubt in the minds of the people that this government is involved in a scam that benefited uh, crony capitalists and took away from the taxpayers of this country. We have uh, Anisha Mathur, who's with us live from the national capital. Anisha, you earlier indicated that we managed to get a redacted copy of the response filed by the government uh, before the Supreme Court. The petitioner also, now in his response to the media, indicating that uh, the government in, the, uh, in, in its response has not made the pricing clear. Well, yes, sir. Shavi, the, there is no mention of the price of the aircraft in this petition, in this uh, response that has been filed. The redacted copies uh, of the reply, the details have been given to the petitioners, and we have also got, uh, we have also accessed a copy of this redacted reply. Interestingly, the procedure also is does not seem to be very clear in this because, if I may ask the my video journalist to just uh, pan to this uh, documentation, what the government has said with regard to the process that has been followed is that the proposal for procurement for 36 aircraft was presented to the defense um, acquisition committee on three occasions for approval in between 28th august 2015 and 24 and 14th july 2016 for approvals in various uh, aspects of uh, the uh, negotiation the finalized uh, the int report was finalized in july 16 and def after that this uh, intergovernmental agreement was signed However, what has happened before this is the fact that in uh, April 2015, after the negotiations between HAL and Assault had broken down earlier, the uh, the earlier uh, agreement that was there for 126 aircraft, the contract negotiations had reached a stalemate. And if I can just uh, uh, it, the it, the earlier RFP, which was for 126 aircraft, was withdrawn in June 2015. So while those negotiations were going on for withdrawal of the earlier RFP, a new agreement was uh, uh, the, taking place. A new statement was issued in April 2015. The intent to purchase th uh, 36 aircraft in flyaway condition was done. So now what the government has done is given an explanation was what uh, for why HAL was kept out saying that because negotiation between HAL and Assault were not working out because HAL wanted uh, more working hours uh, for uh, manufacture of these 108 aircraft that there was issues related to contractual uh, obligations and oblig and responsibilities for the aircraft that were to be manufactured in india now this uh, uh, the now the, what uh, the uh, contract is does not envisage and this is what something the court uh, government has clearly said there is no there is nothing in the contract that says that any uh, part of the aircraft has to be manufactured in india 
further the offset agreement is also not clear the fact the offset obligations are there but the offset contract itself has not been given out in detail in this particular uh, document what the government has said in fact is that um, uh, the vendor is free to choose or select any indian offset partner provided that the offset partner has not been barred so therefore government has simply put up its hands and said we in our contract there is no mention of any indian company of which is going to be the offset partner it is up completely up to dassault to take that decision and whatever the offset obligations in fact are has has made has been made no mention of they simply said that it is there the defense pro uh, procurement procedure prescribes that 50% sent off this uh, all right uh, anisha stay on with us uh, we're going to come back to you in just a bit we have majid memon of the ncp who's with us on the phone line uh, majid memon uh, the the government of india has filed uh, its affidavit before the supreme court after the supreme court insisted that it make the pricing uh, details clear to it and also the procedure by which it uh, it 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 took up uh, it zeroed in on rafale and uh, finalized the details but it's interesting that the copy that we managed to get access of uh, the pricing details are still not clear either not been made public because we managed to get a redacted uh, document uh, only but it's interesting that still no comment on how rafale came into the picture in the first place see one thing needs to be understood very carefully the affidavit which so far the information that has come to public domain in the last uh, couple of hours since the moment the affidavit was filed because some of your media our media friends were able to have access to certain context uh, contents of those affidavits the question is that nobody is disputing the following of the technicalities and other aspects of the deal that has been said repeatedly and it is not just some opposition political party like congress ncp or any other political party but it's the common man of this country who has paid from his pocket the tax payer because 500 crore worth property has been purchased for 1600 plus uh, each one incurring huge loss to the state exchequer running into several thousand crores number one why it has happened that has to be explained by the government i don't know this affidavit whether it contains that detail number two that how is it that anil ambani's company which had on that day when it was found suitable to be given this uh, uh, participation had not even made a screw of an aircraft in its uh, carrier it did not exist 10 days before the company was formed and how is it that hal was given a go by and anil ambani's uh, just born company has been preferred over that these are the two fundamental questions to which Absolutely. a satisfactory answer needs to come before supreme court we let us not preempt supreme court in its wisdom and on its duty is certainly going to ask back put back the question to the government that whether those two fundamental questions for which every common man of this country is concerned have been duly answered or have been evaded right absolutely mr majid mena thanks thanks so much for speaking to india today mr mena uh, making a very important point the two fundamental questions relating to the rafale deal a the pricing and b how uh, ambani came into the picture in the deal in the first place have uh, still seemed uh, unanswered at this stage at least thanks for watching the video for more such news and updates please like share and subscribe to india today also check out our other great videos from our channel we know you would love to